Barry, was it hard for you as a minority member uh, in your journey to the top to bring your ideas, your customs, perhaps your traditions, who you were with you? Um, well, it certainly wasn't easy, uh, but I will say I didn't think of it as being uh, difficult. I thought of it as a mission, and most missions are difficult anyway. Uh, and so that's how I, I, uh, I thought about it. Um, my parents had a lot to do with, with the person who, who I was and, and who I became. Um, my, my father was the type, if you brought home six A's, a B and a B plus, he asked you why you got the B. Mm. Uh, or if you're playing um, uh, you know, football and, and uh, you were uh, a star athlete, I'm not saying I was a star athlete, but if you were a star athlete, he'd give you a list of five things that you could do better. Uh, <laughs> so he was always helpful in giving you the reality that you, you can't stay put. You have to keep going. And the third thing that he, he taught me uh, was around don't be afraid to take risks. Uh, that it paralyzes you if you're afraid to take risks and you can never really move the ball forward, especially in the tougher times. My mother was about education. Um, and uh, so part of the reason why I got my MBA was because she, she had her masters and my grandmother had her masters. And so I felt that I would let, I would let the, the I would let uh, the family down if I didn't go and try to, <laughs> and that's, that's really wow. the, the, yeah. the, the driver for it. But the output of it was that uh, I think that you cannot give up lifelong learning. That if you think you're there, and therefore you don't have to improve, you don't have to learn new things, it means by definition you're not there. Um, and so one of the things I've always been big on is continuing to learn more. Um, life gets, moves along faster than you ever will calculate if you're doing your own daily plan. The next thing you know, things have changed. If you're not prepared for it, uh, you're not gonna be successful or as successful in the next segment uh, of, of your life. And so um, what I did was always look for new opportunities. It had nothing to do with wanting to be a CEO. I just wanted to learn new things. Uh, so I'll give you two quick stories. Uh, many of you in the old days, this is the old days now, when you had uh, fax machines. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so I raised my hand, it was new, just it came out of the technology area. I said, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I got into it and then realized, how do you market faxes when nobody has one? You have one fax, right? So how do you, how do you now, build the confidence of people to, to do faxes. And so that's a difficult marketing job to try to sell something that nobody <laughs> has and, you, and they don't know why they want it. Uh, so that was one example, but, but I loved it. I loved the, the marketing challenge. The other one was that we were the first ones to do color copiers and color printers. But then you realize once you got into it was that there weren't any color originals. Very few color originals. So what do you do? Right? <laughs> So then I had to look in the mirror and say, Barry, you think you're being smart, but these are bad choices that you're making. <laughs> That's cute. Um, but the other one, I, I, I said this uh, earlier, the, the, um, the oldest um, statement, um, hieroglyphics, is in a museum in, um, in London. Uh, and it translates into know thyself. Uh, and I've always said that if you're going to move forward, you can't give up on knowing yourself. What motivates you, why you act the way you do, why you respond the way you do. Because if you don't understand that, I don't think you will ever be the kind of leader that, that you could be. Um, and people have a lot of definitions for, for leadership. And I, I say that leadership is the, um, uh, art of developing followership. So the focus is not really 
just on you. The focus is the needs of the people who you're trying to lead. Uh, and if they don't see you as genuine, then